Hi, it's Ryan from Ryan Fowler Photography and I've got a tutorial for you on creating collections uh, in Lightroom and also being able to sync them with Lightroom Mobile and share them to outside uh, users um, so that you can either send a, a collection to somebody or on the other hand you could uh, s send a link to a um, client's boss or something that wants to monitor photos if you're doing a studio shoot something along those lines. So there's a lot of different ways that you can use it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a collection inside this col um, collection set. So here I've got a collection set which is client galleries and then ben be beneath it, sorry if I can get my words out today I would, um, beneath it I'm going to uh, put a couple of uh, galleries that I want to put these photos into. So um, here I've got a smart collections and then I've got a whole bunch of smart collections here. So that's a smart collection set and then these are the actual collections. And then a collection set for time lapses and then a collection for um, the actual time lapse images. So here I am going to go either right click and create collection or I can create a collection set. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and click create collection. So I'm going to store this one inside a collection set, which is client galleries. You can see the different ones here. So I'm going to do that inside client galleries. This is just so I've got easy access to the final images if ever I need to go back and change something. Um, now, in this options section, um, I'm not going to include selected photos because I can't remember which one selected. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll set as target location. This one's good if you've just edited an image or um, you've taken a photo and the camera's tethered to Lightroom um, and you've, you, know, you really like the photo, you think it'll be a good one to edit, all you have to do is hit the B key, that'll take it straight into that collection so that you don't have to go searching through the images later to find it. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sync with Lightroom Mobile. So you can do this um, at a later stage whether you've um, set it or not uh, when you first created the collection. Um, I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. So then I'm going to go, uh, actually I'll change the collection name, Grady Studio, and I'll go click create. And then this has come up here. So what I was talking about a second ago, right click, you can set as target location, you can sync with Lightroom Mobile, um, Lightroom Mobile links, you can um, view on web, make collection public. I'll also show you the other way to do it when you visit lightroom.adobe.com. There's a link to that just below this video where you can sign into your Creative Cloud account and uh, you can get a shareable link there. So um, these two are the options I want and see where it's got the little plus sign here? That means it's set as the target location. So that target location, if I select this image, hit the B key on the keyboard that's going to transfer it straight across into here. Um, so I'll go back to the shoot date and I'll, all I'll do is I'll select these and then drag them across into there. I could have hit B but I'll just, I just wanted to show you how it's possible to drag them across as well. So that's how you create collections, uh, set them as target locations. It's very good for studio work. It's also very good for um, doing lots of um, organizing of your photos. It's completely up to you. So here it says syncing three photos. That's going to take a while. Um, my internet's not as good at, as it normally is today. Um, so that may take a while, but what I'll do is I'll bring up uh, Safari. You can do this in any web browser. And I'm on lightroom.adobe.com. And all I did was I signed in and it brought me to this, uh, this page here. So I'll go into photos and this is going to bring up my library. So these are the collections that I've shared with Lightroom Mobile. So let's just say I go into uh, whale watching. And once the collection loads, because it is being quite slow today. So here you can hit the settings button and change the title if you wanted to, um, or you can change the title in uh, Lightroom, or you can delete it uh, if you want to as well. But here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go share and um, it's all by default it's set to private so it's visible to only use, so only you can see your collection but what I'll do is I'll go down here to shared and then link and then here 
it'll come up with a link uh, option um, or you can click shared options um, my internet is being very slow so that's why it's uh, delayed there it is that's why it's delayed in bringing up the link uh, or we can share it on Facebook Twitter Google Plus um, these other options you can show only picked photos unflagged or rejected um, and then allow downloads so people can download the uh, photos if you wanted them to um, so yeah that's pretty much it that's uh, I'm going to set that back to private because I don't really want that one public um, yeah I'm I have no need to actually share that one publicly so all I'll do is I'll hit done that'll save the settings it'll bring up the photos so I hope you've enjoyed this quick video um, I'll bring Lightroom back up here so you can see that the three images are in there one two three and then you can bring it back um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do like, comment, and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, if you're watching in the Lightroom Learning Center, I encourage you to keep uh, exploring and learn more about Lightroom because there's so much to learn and the Lightroom Learning Center is ever-growing. I'll see you in the next video.